you want to design a racing poster like this i'll show you step by step in this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification at first going to the file and here taking new options from here i'll go to the letter size you will get this one into the print tab and the first one make sure that rgb color mode and 300 dpi is over there and hit the create button at first we'll take a background by going to the gradient options so from here you'll get the gray color gradient it will it could be the lock you will have to expand this and select this sort of or this sort of gradient and hit ok and after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i'll add some rust over there so press the shift and hold it and rotate this one make this one bigger and press the enter button right press and rasterize and provide the rename texture that's fine press ctrl or command i it will be invert and now we'll go to the screen options fine going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i'll import the brush so hit the ok button and make this one bigger and rotate this one by pressing shift and hold it make this one more bigger and like that yeah that's fine and same thing press ctrl or command i right press rasterize and provide the name b r u s h brush press ctrl or command j press ctrl or command t for the transformation and flip horizontal make this one horizontal like this select these two brushes and ctrl or command e for the merge those layer going to the blending mode and making this one like a screen that's good and opacity i'll make it down fine our texture is ready now going to the file and going to the place embedded we'll import our characters so first character i download this one png hit the enter button and now right press raster as the layer and provide the name man1 that's fine and press ctrl shift a and now i'll make this one desaturate and make the contrast up and from here black like that that's fine clarity i'll make it up and hit ok so after that making it mask g from the keyboard make sure that here you are using the basic one and in this portion the foreground and background color will be black and white press d if it is not uh, like that it will reset and then you can mask it out fine and now going to the file and going to the place and mirror options another character this one right press and flip horizontal and make this one smaller you can place it downside of this layer same things mask it out g from the keyboard and mask the down portion v from the keyboard so this one you can rotate this one little bit and this one you can rotate this one okay and after that press ctrl or command and shift a and then desaturate this one and contrast high and from here you can use texture and the clarity and hit ok that's fine and now this one man 1 and that is man 2 fine take a new layer new blank layer by pressing here the plus sign and go to the brush options i'll take the soft brush and color will be red color and just click once over there make this one screen blending mode press ctrl or command t you can make the brush size bigger we are making this one for the contrast and making that in a group man 2 and now 
again blank layer by pressing plus and select the brush press ctrl or command t you can make this one bigger and change the blending mode into the screen so you can move that screen, uh, brush like that and select them and making it group man one that's fine now those are in a bg meaning the background that's fine we are unlocking and deleting that unnecessary layer take a new blank layer and now going to the shape so you can take any sort of shape from here but i'll choose the rectangle so rectangle will be like that it will be red press ctrl or command g another rectangle upper side of the all layers by pressing ctrl shift and third bracket closing and after that you can make this one multiply that's fine so these two will brush over there before that you can brush so i'm making it brush okay that's fine this one we have stroke but i have to turn it off and now mask it out okay brush it out now let's check here uh, some stroke you have to turn off the stroke fine going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here we'll take our f1 car that's fine and all the stuffs i'll make it a little bit of bigger and it will be like that fine so that is the car okay those are the shape you should rename those things because of if you need to change anything in future you can do that upside of the uh, bg layer going to the file and going to the place embedded we'll import the checkerboard and make the checkerboard bigger that's fine i'll make the opacity down of the checkerboard that's good so you can provide like that yeah that's fine now we'll go to the file again and going to the place embedded we have the venue of the racing so we are importing that making this one bigger size according to the artboard and hit the tick mark right press and rasterize and make this one f i e l d or race track whatever you can do so control or command u for the desaturation or hue saturation making this one desaturated minus 100 and changing the blending actually the opacity like that and making the brush so select it mask g from the keyboard and masking those area so now time to add some texts and everything here is my text here is the upper text lorem if some these these this logo f1 and those things making it group so copying those things ctrl command v and the title will be over there make sure that all the stuffs are in the middle and everything is done by proper alignment so that's all for today hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video is signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye